But when you walk into a room and you see a moolah with a beard talking about blowing up Canadian Idol, you, you got to figure he's not a roofer. I mean, I mean, what's wrong with Canadian Idol? Well, uh, it's not Canadian Idol. They hate you. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's freedom. <laughs> Dance, Canadian Idol. I just wanted to redo my shingles like any other average, normal, hardworking Canadian. Yes, sir. Now, a construction company builds things, Joe. Now, these people destroy. And then I heard someone talk about washing the dead people in the laundry room. But it gets even worse. Now, apparently, Muslim kingpin Yazir Hamoudi's wife, Sarah, does PR work for the mayor. I mean, their tentacles are everywhere. So wake up, people. Sarah, you're supposed to spin the news, not be the news. This has got Yasser written all over it. He's up to something. Call the police. They'll put you in witness protection. And Yasser is not a terrorist. Oh, what? I can't believe you'd think that. I mean, Yasser's even a card-carrying conservative. You're right, it's ridiculous. Thank you. For a really elaborate cover. I'm... I'm joking. Nevertheless, you better find out what the hell is going on. I will get the truth out of him. I can work with the truth. But only as a last resort. <laughs> I can't believe you lied to Reverend McGee and to me. Darling. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Honey, I'm a contractor. Contractors don't lie. I don't understand why you didn't just tell them about the mosque. Yeah. Yes, this is a good one. Reverend, I would like to run a mosque out of your parish hall. Would you like to tell Jesus or shall I? So you said nothing. That, that's just great. Good, because I thought you'd be angry. Look, ladies, beautiful women, I called a hundred places. No one would rent to a mosque. There aren't 100 places in mercy. How many times do I have to tell you that lies only work when they're half true? What would work for you, darling? Uh, 50? Nope. 30? Nope. What? 22? Mm. Yes, 22 is good. Am I yes. adopted? Please tell me I'm adopted. <sighs> I can't believe you dragged the whole town into this, including the mayor. Mm. What's the new imam going to think of all this? Well, <gasps> the new imam I was supposed to pick him up at the mosque. Oh, hey, Dad. Did you call 100 imams before you found this guy? You're both going to love him. Honest, upright, ex-lawyer. <laughs> what Whoa. is your relationship with this mosque? Hang on, let me pay for okay, I just need to ask you a couple yeah, questions. Okay. Okay. What is uh, your comment on the scandal? What scandal? What do you have to say about the terrorist allegations? Look, the cops had no evidence against me. Well, cops? Who are you? I'm Omar Rashid. I'm the new imam. It's like a priest or a rabbi, only browner. <laughs> so are, are you denying that you're a terrorist? What? Yes. You hired a terrorist? I did not hire a terrorist. Oh, a very good-looking one, mind you. Good-looking terrorist. Isn't that an oxymoron? Who are you people? Where is Yasser? As Assalamu alaikum. I am Yasser yes. Ramudi. And this is my wife, Sarah, Hi, my beautiful I'm daughter, Sarah. Rayanne. This is Rayanne. Welcome, welcome to our little mosque on the prairie. Yasser, we need to talk. That message on your machine about blowing people away. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, I yes, know. Yes. I, I told him the same thing. You've got to change people that. Love, people love. People love the that. message. No. Wait, wait, wait. Blowing people away? Are you part of a sleeper cell? Don't, Don't answer, answer that. that. Well, what is your connection to Al Qaeda? What is your connection to journalism? Uh, all right. You know what? Show's yes. over. Let's are, go. Are you from Saudi Arabia? No, I'm from Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> Even better. This story is huge. Okay. Come All on, right. let's go. Come Everybody come on in the car, please. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, you know what? My eyes were shut. You get in the seat. Get, okay. Throw the bags in the back. Okay. Throw the bags in the back. Throw them in the back. Okay. Sarah, okay. please, in the car. Please. Just... Get in the back. You in part by Mazda. This is awful. You haven't even tested it. No, not your food. This. How do I prepare for Ramadan when the whole town's in an uproar? What were you people thinking? This is that convert Sarah's fault. Tell me, aren't goats more traditional than cucumbers? You've lost me. I thought you were supposed to be the big shot imam. You don't even look like an imam. You look like a kid. Can I get a low-fat cappuccino? We don't make low-fat cappuccino. OK, I'll take a regular. We don't make regular. You don't make cappuccino? There is your cappuccino. What am I doing here? Who is this MR Rashid? What is he really doing here? Hmm? This is Fred Tupper. Maybe he has your answer. Wake up, people. It'll all blow over. 
promise. You only want to fit in with white culture. That's why you rented a church, isn't it? So you could turn us all into Christians. You're just upset because you don't get to play imam anymore. You think I'm too orthodox that I scared the white folks? But who got us on the front page of the newspaper? None other than Mr. Secular Yasser and his hotshot Toronto imam. If he had the guts to show his face, <clears throat> I... Asalaamu Alaikum. Walaikum Salaam. You were saying? I was saying that this is a mess. The church is going to evict us any day. Let me take a look at the lease. I used to practice law, you know. Maybe I can uh, find a loophole. In the meantime, our real problem here is optics. Oh, a lawyer and an eye doctor. Very good. Trust me. I can handle this. <laughs> Are you a terrorist? No, I'm... You uh, object to the term? Of course I do. Oh, you prefer uh, Mujahideen? Yes. No! I mean, look, Fred. I came here to clear the air. You're not letting me get a word in. Oh, please. Feel free to give as good as you get. <laughs> That's the privilege of living in a country with freedom. Freedom? To do what? Fan the flames of hatred? Oh, isn't it Muslim preachers like yourself who do that, huh? I got news for you, Johnny Jihad. That... Folks around here will not sit back and let that happen. You can bet your falafel on that. I call on Reverend McGee to turf you and your gang out of the church hall by sundown. Yes, sir. This is Reverend McGee again. We need to talk about this lease. Sundown? What is this, the Wild West? <laughs> you caught that right, my little Bedouin buckaroo. Okay. You're not in the big city anymore. Oh, I've noticed. Doesn't anyone in this town know how to make a cappuccino? Oh, you're saying we're ignorant? Some of you, yes. In fact, I've never seen so much small town ignorance in my life. Well, if he hates it here so much, why doesn't he go back to Toronto? Yes, a one-way ticket to Toronto. Amar Rashid. Yes, I'll hold. Can a Muslim book a one-way flight these days without someone having to call their supervisor? Oh, you poor thing. Racial profiling. Making it very difficult for you to run away. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Wait, let me ask the Imam. Oh, wait! He's running away! Look, I screwed up, okay? No, it is not okay. You were supposed to... Well, you were the guy I dreamed about. Rayon, that's not really appropriate. Get over yourself. I dreamed about you for our mosque. You know, a progressive imam born here in Canada? Well, I thought you'd drag us into the modern world. Or at least the 11th century. Yeah, so did I. That's why I gave up being a lawyer. Oh, I figured you just sucked at that, too. Hmm. You can't leave, Amar. Not when your congregation is in there right now, having its annual cage match to figure out when to start Ramadan. I'm sorry I'll miss that.